Hey guys, Sean here. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a quick temp root on the HTC Evo 3D. Now, keep in mind that this is a temporary root, so if you were to restart the phone, it would get rid of your pseudo rights and the root and all that nonsense. But, um... I did find a really interesting script on XDA. It makes it really easy. You have to press one button, two buttons. You can skip out on all the ADB shenanigans, especially if you're new to all this stuff and you don't want to get your feet wet. I completely understand. We all started somewhere. So this is by far the easiest way I've seen to get temp root. So uh, the first thing you need to do is install the ADB drivers. And uh, if you guys don't, if you guys already have your ADB drivers installed, I'll put an annotation and I'll show you guys exactly where to skip. But for those people who don't know how to do this, I'm gonna do it really quickly. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna go to computer and then manage. Wait for that to pop up. Go into device manager and somewhere under under devices or maybe under Android phone, you should have something that says Android phone or ADB or whatever it's going to be. Now you do need to get the drivers off the internet. You could also get them off the Google um, SDK or whatever you want to do. I am using a 64-bit, so I downloaded it right off the internet, and I'll put links for all you guys, 32 and 64-bit. Now uh, you're gonna go and right-click on it, press update driver software, browse my computer. Press let me click, um, do an Android USB device, next have disk, and point it in the proper direction, Android USB, and OK. And next, should take a couple seconds and then you should be ready to roll. Awesome. Now once you have this ready, you're going to want to go in and open the script. It's under Freevo, press the little batch file and uh, it gives you some really simple instructions one through eight you're just gonna press one make sure your device is listed there and you should see right there ht1 blah 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 that's your device if there's nothing there make sure you properly install the drivers do everything you have to do if you have any problems just google it it should tell you you should be able to figure it out pretty easily now press any key to continue and this is where you're gonna press two and then enter and this what actually this is doing is actually giving you the root takes a second and that's how easy it is now right now you have a root but you won't be able to do anything with it so you're gonna have to down you're also gonna have to install the su and the super user apk and busybox do that just press three and enter and that was pretty easy press that again and you should be done press eight now head over to your phone and you can take a look at the super user apk you can you can do whatever you want to do um, unfortunately, there's no flashable ROMs yet because it's still S off on the phone as soon as the HTC unlocks it or we're the, dev the devs are actually very close to unlocking it as well. But as soon as that happens, I should be able to get ROMs. Right now, I can do a bunch of other stuff, but uh, essentially, that's the easiest way to root as far as I can see. And again, this is temporary. So every time you restart, it will like take away your root. You're going to have to do this again. This is mainly just for fooling around and this is actually like the pre real temp root like there's another temp root coming out soon and when full root does finally come out i'll make another video and show you guys how to do it thanks for watching please rate and subscribe i'll see you guys later